Hi, I'm Mike Santora, Associate Editor for Design World Magazine and Make Parts Fast. And today I am here at the Rapid Show this year with Bob Foster from Faro. Bob, thanks for being with us. Thanks, Mike. Thanks for having us. Okay, so can you tell me a little bit about what we have here today and what you're featuring at the show? Sure thing, Mike. So at the show, we're featuring our design scan arm. This is a eight axis probing and scanning device that we uh, just introduced a couple of years ago for our 3D design vertical. Basically, we can scan in color. We have a green laser line with a thousand points. Then when I hit that trigger, we're gonna be collecting at about 120 frames a second or 120,000 points per second. So let me give you an idea of how this works. Hold the green button, pull it. You'll see we're getting full color with this. This eighth axis is really nice because I'm able just to rotate it with my hand and just keep scanning the part. Once I've collected enough information, I can do things like feature extraction in the software. We use the Geomagic softwares primarily with this to scan arm, but it does plug into a number of them. Basically, it has a USB cable that just plugs into a computer and operates many softwares. Uh, we use Geomagic Wrap right now. That's if you're just trying to create a shape and mesh it and do a surface at the end. We also have Geomagic Design X. If you want to create a parametric design model, you can use Design X and it can transfer into SolidWorks, Inventor, Creo, other softwares. Then we also have Control X. So if you've maybe 3D printed a part after you've designed it and you want to check the tolerance on it, you can do the same thing. Load the, scan, load the CAD model into the software, take a scan, do an alignment, and then do a color map to just to see if it's within tolerance or not. So those are our three primary softwares. All of them work with our design scan arm. You can also go into Polyworks. We also have our Faro product, Revenge, Cam 2. Even on scanning, we still have a probe tip on the end. We can still do probe measurements if we want as well. So if we have this part tied down and we want some better accuracy, we can probe with this. This is a 3000 device, 75 micron device, whether we're scanning or probing, so it doesn't matter. Easy to use, two buttons, green, red, start, stop. <laughs> Very interesting. So now obviously it seems like there are quite a few different applications and industries that could find some value in this product. Are there any industries that are, that are showing more interest than others? Um, and, and what's the focus for Ferry going, uh, going forward? Sure thing, Mike. So we're primarily going with uh, automotive, aerospace, uh, medical devices. Anybody that has to capture, maybe a, a company needs to reverse engineer so they can retrofit into somebody else, a competitor's product. They don't have the CAD model of the competitor's part. They can put the part on there, scan it, create a model. That's that's the people we're trying to, to, to find. They have that need. Very interesting. Well, Bob, can you tell everybody where they can find out more about Ferro products? Absolutely. If you go to www.ferro.com, hit our website. Um, we have 3D design, which is what I'm on. We also have 3D manufacturing. So, Wonderful. And of course, for more videos like this, you can go to Design World Online. Dot com.